Hi there, GISD family. This is Kelly Moulton, your superintendent. No, I'm not driving right now, but I did just finish a trip to take my sweet mom some supplies for the Easter weekend. We've been at home teaching and learning for a few weeks in this new environment. So I wanted to touch base and give everyone some words of encouragement. I keep telling everyone we've got this and we do. Uh, we have free meals for our kids. They're being served at curbside twice a week. Our teachers are teaching, our students are learning, and in fact, we're actually seeing an uptick in assignments completed at Ball High School. Thank you to all the GISD staff who have really stepped up during this unexpected challenge, and the parents and students who are carrying the torch at home and, and making this happen. We are succeeding. I know that our return date is uncertain, and our at-home isolation living arrangements can be stressful at times classwork should be viewed as a contribution to our daily calendar and not an additional stress inducer. I think it can actually de-stress our kids and make them feel a little bit normal and we can keep them engaged. I want our kids to continue working on schoolwork, but we also want to be mindful of how much time the schoolwork consumes. For teachers and parents, uh, here's a good rule of thumb to follow when we think about how much time students should spend on actual classwork each day. The little ones, our pre-K, K, all the way through fourth grade, really don't need to spend more than about one to two hours a day doing work. Our middle schoolers should be able to stay on pace two to three hours a day, whether they're online learning or working in their packets. And our high school students should be able to do three to four hours a day. That should be sufficient to get their work done. If your student is spending substantially more or less time on their assignments, please contact the teachers. When a teacher sees your child every day, they know how to adjust for their particular learning styles. Since we don't see them as often, we need you to be our eyes and our ears. I've been so impressed with our administrators, our teachers, our parents, and our students during this time. Seeing us all come together is truly inspiring. We're all working hard, and I have faith that as a community, we can and we will endure for, this take, for as long as this is going to take, um, and we will come out stronger. Thank you for taking the time to hear this message. I will speak with you again soon, but in the meantime, you can stay up to date with current district information by visiting GISD.org and clicking on the COVID-19 page. Be safe during this holiday weekend, and we'll see you soon.